Hello YouTubers, today we're working on this 2005 Escalate. It's got a 6.0 and uh, the issue it's having, it's uh, got a cracked radiator. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and remove this cover. You can probably get away with not removing it. But uh, like I say, I always like to take everything off when I do a video, that way I can see exactly what's going on. And uh, the way this comes off, it's held by these little plastic uh, rivets. And all you do is they're going to be pushed down like this. All you take is a screwdriver, pop them up like this. Then you wiggle them out and they come out. And if that happens, they come out like that, that's okay. You, gotta, you just put it back together. I'm trying to use one hand here. Okay, if that happens, all you do is you take it and put it back together. I can grab this thing, it's going all over the place. There you go. So that's the way you take those off. And that cover just lifts off. Get it out of the way. And this is where the crack is. That sounds getting in the way. Can you see a little bit of water right there? It's about a four inch crack that goes all the way down. I guess we'll start by taking these hoses off. They hold on by these clamps. Got one in the bottom and one on the top. Then we'll take the fans off. And uh, we'll go from there, take the uh, transmission lines off too. But before we start tearing it apart, let's check this radiator. Make sure it's the right one. He ordered it online. I don't know where it came from, but let's check it. And it's another good thing if you have your part before. That way you can look at it and see how many bolts where the bolts are positioned and everything will help you out. And always open your packages nicely like this. Because sometimes you have to return them. They make uh, mistakes and send you the wrong one. Like I did some rotors and they sent me the wrong ones. Let's pull it out. Be careful with it. Come on out, buddy. Get this box out of the way. these styrofoam out and let's compare it and make sure we've got the right radiator before we start tearing stuff apart lean it over here okay everything matches up it's got all these lines and connections and same on this side the only difference I see is that other old one doesn't have a drain plug either it fell out let's see if or they plugged it or something because right here I can't see when the radar is on it. You can't see nothing. All you can see is just some like it's plugged up. And then this this got this hose, which the other one doesn't. So and that's no biggie. You know that actually this is better because it's got a plug. I mean a drain plug. And the old one I can't see one in there. I'll put some light on there and see if we can see where the drain plug's supposed to go. Supposed to be down there. There's nothing down there. Nope. We'll see once we get the fan and we'll see if it has a plug. But uh, if it does it, I'm gonna drain it through this bottom hose, this big hose right there. And I'll put a bucket down there. Okay, let's start by taking this off. I'm just gonna use some pliers. I've got that special tool, but it seems like I'd have a harder time right now. This would be a lot quicker. So I'm gonna open these pliers and break that seal. And it don't matter if you mess this uh, uh, radiator up, because it's no good anyway. You could probably sell it for aluminum. Let me see if it's gonna squirt anything out of here. A huh? little bit of, of coolant. Let me do the other ones. Okay, we're on the passenger side. And I'm gonna take this little hose and I may drop that lamp because that lamp's resting on the back part of this little hose. Okay, I think that's far enough. Yeah, that light wants to fall. And you may have to pry it. Something like this. Be careful though, don't 
probably against something that will snap. Okay, a little bit of water or coolant came out of that one. Let's put this one back here somewhere where it won't get in our way. Okay, now here's the tricky part. If you haven't messed with these kind of uh, clips, it'll confuse you. All right, this clip right here, it's a clip. You don't have to unscrew nothing. Some people think they gotta unscrew that bolt. But all you do is take a screwdriver or something like this too and remove this little cover. It's just a little cover. It's there to hold that ring in place. Then you're gonna take a pick and you're gonna grab this clip that's in there. I don't know if you can see it. Let's see if we can get that clip to pop up. And if you lose this clip, you're in a world of poop. Nah, they sell these clips by themselves. See the clip, how it's coming out? And watch out, because it will fly off. They do have a tendency of... I'm going to cover it with my... Well, I want you to see it. Let me get the light on there. Okay, I got my hand on there. That's the clip, see it? It's coming out. Ah! Dang light. There's the clip, that's the clip right there. What you're trying to do is you try to grab it from the opening. Oh, dang, I need to get a better light. You grab it from the opening here, when it's in there. That's what you're fishing for this and grab it from here or if you can get it in there and get it to open up and pop out of that uh, hose right there. Now all you have to do is pull on that line and it comes out. You, you don't have to unscrew nothing. There, see how it came out? Be careful. Don't be too rough with it because if you screw up the end, you put a, a scratch on it it will leak I've had issues with those these do come out you can unscrew it and they sell them separate but sometimes that won't fix the problem you're gonna need to get the whole line I've replaced those two you take them off put a new one it takes care of the problem I'll take it off here so I can show you since this is an old radiator we're not gonna use it anymore okay now we unclamp this from here I might take this tube off if it gets in the way of recording so y'all can see better. But you can leave it on and it's not going to get in your way as far as taking it out. Let's take this clip off. It's broken, but I'll show you a new one how you take this one off. Right now it's broken, so it'll open easy and you can get that tube out of the way. Let me grab one and show you how you do those. Okay, this is how that clip looks. And uh, what you want to do is... It's held on right here. What I do is I take a pick and I put it on top and push down on that. Push down and then open it. Oops, let's go see right here. And let me open it. You can see what I'm talking about. It's better when it's hooked up on there because it's got pressure and you can push it out. Okay, there we go. That's what you got right there. It goes in there and it snaps. So when I go in through back here, I'm pushing down on this tab. I'm pushing this tab down. Down like that, flattening it down so it can squeeze through here. Through there, see? See how it looks? And then once it goes in there, it snaps. I don't wanna put it in there because it'll snap. Let me try it again. See how it snaps? And I just push this on top of that lip. And it should come out, see? I know I'm moving around because it's hard when I'm doing it on my hand. Okay, let me move this slide a little bit. I think it's kind of blinding us. Now there's another line down here. This small one. And the same thing, you pinch that with pliers. And then there's another transmission line. You do the same thing as we did with this one. Then, of course, you got that big one down there. 
it's got a clamp like the top one we did earlier right i'm gonna take these other lines off real quick and i'll probably use small pliers on this one because i don't have enough room okay i'm gonna take off this other line and i got a little bit smaller pliers not much but they're smaller and take them out there we go that's how you do again give it a little help be careful so you don't want to break the radiator it's plastic there you go all right i'm gonna try to take that hose out first the bottom hose and drain it i'm gonna use the this tool on that one it's kind of hard to get to it's see uh there you go Oops, he's already starting to leak. This one's gonna come out quick. I've got a gallon in the bottom already. A container. Here we go. You ready? Okay, I can go ahead and pull this hose off now. Try to get all the water to go back down through there. We'll take this one off on the passenger side. Now we'll do the other side. See if it'll do this side. Yeah, it's time to buy a new one. I had it a good five years. Way over five years, so it's time for another one. All right, ladies and gentlemen, now let's take this one. Same thing, we want to push this uh, plastic cover out of the way, it just snaps on there. All right, these can be a pain in the rear, but the best way I found to do is just try to stick it in the side like that and then twist. And then you can get the clip out. Once you got that part up, you can stick another pick in here and bring up the clip, see? Pop it out and it says this one don't go flying everywhere. Nope, we got it. All right. Whoa, be careful because when these fall, they're like magic, they disappear. And I think that one's bigger. Now again, all we have to do is pull this out. Whoa. Okay, when I pull this out, I hit this negative cable when it hit on the battery and set up the alarm and put it back down there and I knew I was gonna do that just had a feeling all right now we're gonna try to take this uh, these fans off and you've got a clip down here and then these cl clips that hook up to each of the uh, fans you've got two fans okay we got these two connections all you do is squeeze on this back tab right here and pull them out and they sometimes they're hard these were a pain in the butt so i had to go in here and kind of lift this up help it when it was in there and i pulled it out now this one all you do is stick a screwdriver in here and it should open there we go all i did was stick the screwdriver in here and it popped it open right in here and it opened up here's the other one and for some reason they are being a pain in the rear try to get the camera on it you squeeze this tab in the back and it opens that you can see in there how it's opening and this one was also a pain in the rear I had to kind of help it by lifting that tab in there like that <clears throat> Now that we have all the connections, we should be able to get the fan out. All right, quick check. Get all the lines out of the way. And 
bingo. Here comes the fans. All right, now with the fan gone, I can get in there and really get into those, uh, removing that one hole. So let's give it a shot. If you can't get your uh, pick in here like we did earlier on the other one and grab that, you know, from here, try to find where the opening is at, where the clamp, I think it's down here. Yeah, right here. And pull it from there up, see? Now it gives you that little opening where you can hook it up and pull it out. Right here, see? I'm gonna get in the way because I don't wanna lose that clip. And like I say, you can buy them. Okay, there it is. All right, YouTubers, I just heard a uh, vehicle out there. Look who it was, the good old FedEx or UPS. Love them guys. Not the two tires for the Beamer. All right, let's get back to work. All right, we're on the last one, driver's side. These are the bigger ones. Take that plastic cap out of the way. Push it back. And I think these are a lot easier because I can get in the side. I think I did on the other one, didn't I? But anyway, there's where it, the opening is, so I don't think I'll have an issue. See, these I can grab in there because they're a lot bigger. And I can get it out easier. There we go. Oops. Did y'all see that? Sucker went right back in. Mm -mm. You're playing games with me like that, okay? Got it. Oops. Drop the pick. Use this one. Put my hand back here so I don't lose it. Push it back. And try to remember how they went so you don't have to be fine when you try to put them back in. There it is. And the driver's side, they're bigger. Bigger clamps. See how big they are? Let's try to put this one in. When you put them back in, that's what you're going to do. You're going to just push them in till they lock in place. See? Right there. Now let's get it out. I should have just left it out, huh? Now, that way I can see. All right. Quick recap. These large ones go on the driver's side. These small ones go on the passenger side, okay? I'll be trying to fight them and trying to put the small ones where the big ones go and then the big ones where the small one goes. Okay, I gotta use both hands for this one. Hope I don't drop the flashlight again. Well, you might want to push it in, then back out. There it goes. Some are hard, some are easy. Okay, now we're on the driver's side. Let's pull that one out. And I guess it won't hurt if you put some WD-40. I'll have to get in the way. There we go. Ooh, that one's leaking, trying to cool it. Let me put something on the bottom. And now we're going to take the bolts to these brackets to hold the uh, radiator in. And they're 13 millimeter. And uh, this latch is barely hanging in there. Okay, what do we need now? Alright, I think we're ready to pull this bad boy out. More water coming out. Yep. And there it is. Alright, here are the two radiators. Here's the old one. And this is where it was cracked, right here. See that crack runs all the way down here. And you're not done with this one. Don't throw it away because you're going to need some parts from it. And this is the best time to really look at it and make sure it's the right one. Okay. Everything matches up. It's got this spout, two lines for the tranny, and then there's the drain plug. On this one, it was plugged up. I mean, it, it just does, isn't there. I don't know. They just made it look like it is, but it's not. Here, you've got this uh, fitting, two transmissions, this one, that big one. The new one, same thing, boom, boom, boom. 
same thing here this fitting two trannies this one and the bottom one and i like this one it's got a drain uh plug so you could just drain it through there i don't know why that other one didn't have one let's see how it looks in there <coughs> yeah it's open and that's how you drain them through here and they got this hose i guess you can just open it a little bit and put the hose down so you don't make a mess it'll drain through this hose instead of shooting and getting all over your vehicle so that's pretty good pretty good deal here now we're gonna need these grommets from both sides we're gonna need these bushings down here Let's see if i can turn it so you can oh, got them dirty these they come off Same with that one. And they go down here in that opening right there. Okay, so you're gonna need these two little grommets, whatever you wanna call them, that were down here. See how that's sealed? It's a dummy drain plug. And you're gonna need these right here. Boom. Boom. Let me show you how to take those out. They're very hard to take out. Nah, just kidding. They're easy to come out. Get a close up here. All you do is uh, push them with your hand. You see? On this side. And push it when it goes down. If you can't do it with your hand, grab something like this. You can see. And push on one end until it goes in. And then try to find it wherever it rolls. And same thing, when you put it back in, I'll do this side so you can see. Shove it in one side. If you want to, you can use some kind of lubricant. And push it in. Take a screwdriver and careful, don't poke yourself. Shove the end in, and boom, we're in. Just make sure it goes in there. Perfect there, see? That's all you do, out. I'll push it downward and then chase it around. Okay, like I was saying earlier, if you have a line that's leaking when it's on the vehicle, you might want to try this. This one's a 19 millimeter. The other size is bigger. The one's on the driver's side. And they come off. And I've done this too. I've replaced them and it's worked and sometimes it hasn't. They sell these at the parts store. Sometimes they're just uh, messed up or maybe even the seal. I've replaced them and in some cases it's worked and in some cases it hasn't. When you put it back on, don't go crazy tightening it up. You'll strip it. Let's get in there. Right there feels tight. Just do a little turn and that's it. I think it's like aluminum and it'll break. Same here, all four should come out if you have any issues with them leaking. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see that one. Nope, I'm way over here. This one also comes out. And these are 19 on the passenger side. Driver side is a lot thicker. And if that don't work, then you need to replace the line because they get little nicks on them and it'll leak. I've had that issue. I've had, actually, I, I replace the lines more often than these. These sometimes don't work, so I just go ahead and do the lines. And those lines are kind of expensive on some vehicles. Oh, okay, now when you've gotten everything off the old one, and only then will you grab the old radiator and chunk it. You're done with that one. Just put it in the your uh, scrap pile of aluminum or metal and wait till your buddy or that one guy that collects metal to come and get it. Like right here, see, I collect all this for this guy. He comes over and takes this and he sells it. That's how he makes his living. So I try to hold it for him. Uh, it's been a while since he came around, so I'm gonna have to give him a holler. I know this other guy that also does the same thing. Give it to him, cause it's starting to look crappy there like that. And when you take these caps off, just pull them straight up. Cause if you twist them, you'll get some of this stuff caught in those little, oh yeah, it comes with the clip. So that's cool. I didn't want to miss putting them back on. So all you gotta do is slam the, uh, or push the uh, holes in there. And, and I'll show you how to do that. Again, pull it straight up, 
because if you twist it, see, you'll get those little particles in there. They might affect the way the clamp works. So I guess you're still gonna get them because that one's got them. And I just pulled it straight out. Let me clean those real quick. I don't know, maybe it won't affect nothing, but I don't want to take a chance. See that stuff? It's the only one that had it. Oops, there goes another piece. There's another piece there. I just want to make sure nothing's going to interfere with that <clears throat> clip. There we go. Alright, that looks good. So then let's try this one. Any dirt on you? Nope. These didn't have that little cap, so we're good. Alright, something I noticed here. I put these in and look they just real loose. I'll show you why. You got this little collar here. You want to put on the other one. Let's get a close look. Close up. Way to take that out. Take some pliers. Pinch that. There's a little tab right up here that goes up and down right there. Pinch it. Squeeze it down. That collar should come out. Boom. And we go over here. That's the tab I'm talking about. You squeeze it and it goes down. Put that in there. And now this goes in tight. See? Voila. Now it goes in tight. So do that on both sides. And that'll hold it tight in there. Okay, we've got everything on it those grommets these grommets and I think that's it let's put it on okay let's put it back on and here's a good time just make sure all your hoses are pushed back so you don't have a hard time and here's a good time to clean in here I did dragonfly Okay, now let's go in with this radiator. Easy does it. Easy, easy. Okay, I'm trying to line up those grommets down there. There we go. Get there we go down. Now we gotta line these up and put the bolts in. Okay. Don't get your shirt caught. And these kind of move around a little bit so you can play with them if it's not lined up. Okay. You make sure everything looks good. All right, that way you can see it went in smooth. Put some light on there. And we gotta tighten these bad boys. But I think I'm gonna snap those lines in first. Make sure you make sure everything's ready because those lines will be a pain in the butt to take out again. And I guess it don't matter where I start first, but let me start with that bottom line because I think that one gave me a hard time get that over with and if you're having a hard time you might want to spray some WD-40 on this let me get this pliers out of the way okay I'm good right there let's loosen this bad boy it's pretty handy to have see how it works All right, that's on there. Okay, I think I'm gonna snap one of these lines in there. 
That's the top one. It's really a no-brainer, you know, they kind of set in place. Okay, let's push this one in. There we go. I have to use some muscle and put this little cover on there. That just keeps that clip from ever coming out. I've never really seen them come out. All right. I just wanted to get that one done. And then maybe the bottom one on this side. And then we can tighten this up and go from there. I think at this point I want to put uh, the fan in before I go too far and I won't be able to put some lines in there. All right, here comes the fans. <clears throat> easy, easy again. Don't go scratching up that radiator. That side's there. And that's it. Let's go ahead and tighten the radiator fan. 213 millimeter. I was worried about this line. I don't know if I could put it in with the fan out. It goes right down here. Yeah, I think I can get it. No, because it keeps popping out. All right, guys, that line was very hard to put on. I got it in there. See, it doesn't come out no more. It was coming out because I wasn't pushing it hard enough, and there's no room in there. So if you can get it before you put the fan, go for it. If not, this is what I used. I used this crow uh, prying bar, and I pushed it. I helped put it in the back, and I pushed it in like that. If you do that, be very careful. Don't break the line. Don't bend it. I was very gentle with it. Finally, it snapped in there. So now... All we got to do is put this. There we go. Be very careful if you do this. I don't recommend you do it, but sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Now let's do the top one. Let's see how tough the top one is. Top one will be easier because I got more leverage. See, I got out of this room to push it in there. Okay. Push it in. It's locked. In the little cover. I was having a hard time snapping that in, so I took these pliers, just wedged them right here like that, and just hit the back of it, and I pushed it in. And like I said, everything falls into place. Look at that. They fell right into the bracket down here. And uh, this bracket, bracket actually snapped right there, but you can still put it on. Just make sure you run it through that little crack, see, and snap it, and you're good. Has a very little piece of plastic that holds it together, so it'll come out. But you know, it's, it, I guess it might be made like that because look, it's on there; it's not coming out. Okay, I hope I don't drop that light. Now, all the, most of the hoses are on this side. Now, don't get confused with this one and the bottom one. Uh, one's bigger than the other one. Let me get them hoses and show you. Here's the opening, see? One size is bigger. The small one goes on the bottom. Beaut. Right there. Got that one on. Now this big, you know what, let me put that line on first. <laughs> okay, let's see if you're going to give me a hard time. Oops. Went right in, guys. It's on there. Alright, the small clip's going easier. Now this top line. And what I, I didn't see how this came out, but what I try to do when I take these kind of clamps off, try to put them in the same position that we're in. All right, time.
trying to put the uh, connections on. This one goes over here. <clears throat> okay. This one goes on this side. This in here. Yeah. Now the top radiator holes in. We should be done. Okay, bring that bad boy around here. Got some big pliers for this bad boy. There's a mark where it was before. I tried to put it right on it. Okay, this is the one that was busted, so it's not gonna be able to clip. Doesn't matter, we destroy this one. Come on now, booger. Okay, I put a little lubricant on it. So it would slide in there easy. There we go. Okay, I got the battery hooked up. And I start out the coolant. All right, I haven't put this plastic cover on yet because I want to see if there's going to be any leaks and it's better to see without that on there. And try not to and try not to spill any when you're pulling the cooling in, or then you get, you're not gonna know if it's leaking. Like right now, see, it looks like it's leaking. But that's because I didn't use a funnel, and I spilled some right there. Too lazy to go get a funnel, and I've got funnels. Well, it's too late now. Okay. Now I'm gonna check for any <clears throat> leaks. Let's get a flashlight, something bright, and check your lines. No, no leaks there. Let's look on the other side. <clears throat> good. No leaks. We're looking good, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen. Let's fire her up. transmission lines those were the ones I was worried about they look good no leaks okay let's pop it on man this truck sounds nice check it out I gotta rev it up takes a lot of water I put three full gallons and this one was about halfway Dang. Well, that scared me I thought it was leaking but what happened I overfilled it and it runs through this overflow tube which is down here shoots it out I'm gonna let it run like that get all the air bubbles out run it about four three five minutes maybe let all them air bubbles come out and uh, then I'll seal it and do the test run. All right, she's been running for a while and she's not getting hot. Everything looks good here. No check in tonight.
All right, she's real beautiful. Awesome. All right, YouTubers. Again, thanks for watching, and like always, I really appreciate you. And uh, good luck. God bless you.